Pika. So I got Pika Storm Rider, Storm Wrangler, Storm Wrangler, Pika Storm Wrangler, right there, and Tecla. And we're out uh, running the rim trail here today, and we're having some fantastic time. Let me tell you, that's some fantastic dog, that dog. She's a uh, Yamton, Swedish Alcount, and she is my buddy. Oh. Yeah, you better come up and say hello. You come by me. Good. Come on up by me. Check let that Pika come. Come. There's my girl. There's my girl. There's my big girl. So we're stopped here at the water. We still got water here, which is kind of cool. We're having a pretty good time right here. And uh, so we've hiked, oh, not not overly far today. The rim trail is not not a long haul for us, but it's good uh, a good ways to go. <laughs> and I needed a break, <laughs> so I've had a busy, busy stretch. So I've had uh, I've had some fun the last week or so it's been quite a fun time because I've had two, two litters at home. I've been training these guys and uh, I got a Vana litter and a Silver Nessa litter and I'm going to have in the next night or two a litter out of Ella. Ella's a Yamtan just like this Swedish elk count. And uh, this is a Rhea and Possel pup. And it's a magnificent female. And she's headed up to the Alaska. So she's actually got a sister up there. And she'll be able to play with her. She's got a half brother up there too, Helix. So Lacuna and Helix are already up there. And so her full sibling sister is Lacuna. So Pika will enjoy to play with her. That will be really cool. I'm sure they'll be able to find each other up there. I'll share their contacts. So Tecla's doing the training for me today. And uh, doing uh, most of the guidance for Pika. Tecla's a pro. She knows what she's doing. No doubt about it. Pika, she's a really good dog, though. She hasn't been 12 feet from me yet. Yeah, fantastic dog. She's locked on. But she was locked on a few weeks back, four or five weeks ago. She was locked on in about three weeks, this dog. This is phenomenal. So this is an off-leash uh, dog that you can work with for life, this dog. She's very good, yeah. Now the trick with off-leash, you don't go on. I have a trail here, but we're up and down it. We're off of it, and it's overgrown and stuff. But it's uh, somebody, uh, I didn't cut this. So somebody's been walking where I walk. So I don't know who did that. I, I have never seen a soul here in almost a decade, so I don't know. I don't like seeing people coming around here. But that's all right. It's good. It's open land. They can come. They can have fun. You come by me. And I 
That's my girl, boy. That's my girl. That's my girl. Come right here, buddy. What? 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 Yeah. Beautiful dog, that pup. So the folks I talked to them this morning, they're so excited. Yeah. It's, uh, I'd be excited too, boy. That's a good dog. Really good dog. Yeah, it's a world class dog, that dog. So they're exceptional in this kind of stuff. They like this. They settle right in out here. They get pretty calm. They relax. They enjoy this. They don't get wound up. They're a nice, calm dog. They're very, very good. She's easy going. She just hangs by the handler. She's quite amazing. But if they're raised that way, you see, that's pretty good. Her, her mother has sat with her when she was born. But you want to just hang out and see the stopping is what does a lot of the training. Because you just stop, you chill out, and you, the dog just goes chill. And it understands just to hang. And that dog won't go three feet from me. Well, maybe to the camera and back. But, and that's, that's where it'll stay. And that teaches that dog to, to hang by the handler when you're moving and stopping, moving and stopping. Very, very good trait. Lots of guys don't stop enough. And so, um, when the dog is older, you can go for hours. But when you're training a pup, you stop lots. The stop brings in all the senses around the dog, learns to just sit and look around and focus, pay attention to the handler. And that's what you want. And they don't have to be right in your face, but if they're right here in this zone, that's all That's all good. I'm just happy as heck with that. And over time, they develop strategies like this, but that's a, that's a good dog. That's a good pup. Now, normally I would have more dogs with me today, but i got so many females in heat that uh, the dogs are all wound up. And so I just wanted to calm dog up here today so I brought Tequa. I got I'm not breeding any right out of this round but it's there's three or four right there cycling in every male's basket case the females are uptight everything so it's good to just have uh, you can go get water if you want she would like to go get water which she can I think you gotta go down over here though you better go down over here Hey, Pika. Ah, she'll figure it out. You better come up here. Hey, come here. I'll bring her back up in the video. Come here, Pika. Come by me here. Well, maybe she wants to go we'll bring the camera up. We'll take a picture of her going down there because we can do that. We can do that. Watch out, Tecla. Good. Good.
What a good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. You did good. You did good. You did really good, boy. You just come by me here. Come on, girl. Get over here. Watch out, Dick. I gotta watch out. She don't want it. I don't want her to tip that over. No, no. Hey. No. Come here. Goofing around, you end up here. Fled, fled, fled. I need a new tripod. I'll get a heavier one. Yeah, so this is a good pup to work with. Nice pup to work with. Has no desire to to wander. Very, very good dog. Beautiful dog to work in the wilderness with. Those those style, that that behavior that shows up as a pup, you see that's it. That's world class behavior. Yeah. I train a lot of pups, so you can see traits in uh, situations like this very easy they're easy to spot and you can tell just moving through the bush how the dog responds how the dog focuses what the dog's doing when you stop things like that this dog has just it's just calm right here right so those are key traits those traits don't leave they don't change they stay the same those are those are behaviors that are in instinctive behaviors that are in that pup because it hasn't had enough training to be training so all we're witnessing right now is what the pup naturally wants to do i mean it has had some training but really the training is simply to allow it to show the instincts and so when you have pups this age that are out here probably eight and a half weeks coming nine weeks maybe um, what you what you see at this age and even a little bit before you can see them but that's all the traits that are in the dog that's what's bred to be in the dog so you get to see it right away very level-headed very stable those are instincts what's in that dog because there's no training at that point yet I mean really my training has been for her to be able to hang around me but um, that's, that's instinct right there. A lot of that behavior yet at this age. So that's what you want to see. And breeders, you see, they have to have the dog out here or they can't, they can't tell. They wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to see this in a pen. In a pen, they're just all your buddies. But out here, you get to see what the behavior is. And that's why I like to take the pups out. And you can take two, you can take three. Um, the behaviors will show up. But if you have one for a fact, you're looking at exact. But uh, you could you could run this pup with another one and watch the behavior of the two and tell. You don't have to just run one. You can see it with two. But instincts are bred into the dog, deep within the dog. And so the instincts are what the dog is uh, going to revert to in any kind of situation. Instincts always override training every time. You can train a dog to do something for sure, but unless it's really, really, really locked in, instincts override so having this kind of instinct is always great and of course that's that's what that lineage is about too now that lineage can hunt can go and can hunt if you want to release that dog 
That dog can do that. That dog can lead hunt too. Can hunt on a lead. So you want that dog to find a moose for you. That dog will find it. You can leave it on a lead and you'll find it. Anya, she's a stealth hunter. That's Grom, her grandmother, Anya. And you can tell why my handles are getting trashed. That's why, right there. Chomping on them. Come on, Grom. Pika, you get away from there. What? 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 Right by me here. Hey, hey, hey. What? 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 What a fantastic girl. Jesus, you're a good girl. Holy cow. Holy cow. What a good girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're a good girl. Come right up by me. Oh my god. You better come say hello. Oh my god. Come say hello. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Jesus, you're a good girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a good dog, that one. Good girl. Good. Good. Well, Tecla is pretty good. So, we're probably going to be heading her back. Good. Good. That's my new knife. Don't chomp that off. The other knife got chomped off, of course. And then it fell out of my holder and I put her through the snowblower. <laughs> uh, uh, so that was funny. She was skinning up that snowblower pretty good. The snowblower is fighting back, let me tell you. All right, Tecla, let's hit the road. I think it's a good day. Good video.